thought we'd uh, revisit um, one of the projects we had shown earlier. Uh, we put in a carnivorous bog. Uh, we've never really put in a had a bog before. Um, it's made with a liner, um, uh, peat moss, and basically uh, river sand. And uh, you plant it with moss. Uh, so we had looked on the internet, kind of figured it out ourselves. Didn't know if we were going to be very successful with it. Uh, <laughs> but we had a piece of land down here in the bottom where tree roots are just make it almost impossible for anything to grow. Uh, and plus it was in an area where deer used to get in. We've since then blocked everything off and uh, attempted to put in a uh, carnivorous bog. So the last time we filmed it, which I'll show you here in a second, just a brief shot, is when we finished it. Everything was dormant or seedlings. Pretty good shape. It's all wet all the way. So this is it about, uh, I'd say seven weeks seven to eight weeks, maybe two months uh, later. Um, and I don't even know if it's been that. So let's take a look at uh, how it is going now. This is the carnivorous bog now. And as you, what do you got, girl? What do you got? Get your pots? Her favorite toys are, of course, discarded uh, plastic pots. What else would a uh, a puppy dog who follows their dad around who plants in the garden have for a toy. Let's get back to the carnivorous bog. So this is the carnivorous bog now. This is July 4th and as you can see uh, things have come uh, along pretty good. This guy is putting up a lot <laughs> of growth here. A ton. So it's doing pretty well. We have added a marsh marigold from another location in the yard where it wasn't doing so well. These are blue iris. Uh, this here is yellow-eyed grass, and you can see the moss is doing great. Uh, there's some monkey flower there. Uh, it's already bloomed and it'll hopefully drop seed. Um, this is a sm very small, I didn't even know we had in the yard, but it's making a comeback. This is a purple, a native purple, um, Pitcher plant. Uh, this attempting to grow there, I don't know if it's been too successful. I think is a some type of orchid. I gotta look it up. But I think it's a green fringed orchid. As you can see, these pitcher plants are doing quite well. That's a swamp pink. Uh, that is a native um, of the Pine Barrens here in New Jersey. This is a very cool plant when it blooms. I hope to uh, get it to bloom and collect seed. And you can see here, these pitchers are doing quite well. Uh, I think this is a pickerel here. I rescued that from a construction site. Really kind of had it growing in a pond for some frogs, but wanted to move some down here. As you can see, everything is growing. I'm hoping next year this will be completely filled in. Let's take a look over here. You can see some of the pictures are quite large and doing very well. They're all over here. Very nice. This is a orange fringed orchid. This is Mimulus cardinalis, a seedling here. This is a California native, one of my favorite uh, native plants when I was a kid. I used to see them growing along Sutter Creek in Volcano, California. And these are great blue lobelias here. So, and uh, that is a Turk's cap uh, lily right there. So, as you can see, this is a lot different then uh, it looked uh, when everything was dormant. Everything is growing great. Oh, I forgot we have some lady tress orchids right there. Uh, so we're hoping next year that uh, it's even fuller than this. Of course, we'll uh, always be adding plants because uh, really, if you look at a, a natural bog, the plants are just massed in together. So we're gonna create that whole habitat. That's why we also planted blue white grass here. And the blue white grass will go to seed and it'll come up next to all the pitcher plants 
Um, so we want to get a little thicker in here. Um, some of the open space here is eventually going to be sundews, native sundews. But that is our uh, carnivorous bog garden, and it's doing quite well. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>